Good to see you, colleague. Yeah, I bring your way another good, good news. Yes. <laughs> As we all know, NMC marking criteria changes and it's not to mean any harm. It's just to benefit you and I. Yeah. Recently, a lot of topics has been taken off the marking criteria just to ease you of stress of learning so much. Now, the latest news is on cervical screening, that is your evidence base, and a subcutaneous injection. What about it? For subcutaneous injection, I'm happy to tell you that there is no longer use of PPE. Yeah, that is, you won't use apron and glove. What does it mean to you? It does mean that it will save you a lot of time of struggling to put on apron and glove. Easily, you just perform your hand hygiene and you carry on with your procedure. It will be so bad after the glove and apron has been taken off and you still forgot to perform your hand hygiene. This could be critical because doing it this way, it does mean you are not uh, a safe practicing nurse. It is a good news because it's going to save your time. So having talked about subcutaneous injection, the next is cervical screening, which is your evidence base. As a nurse, you are meeting this patient. You are going to educate the patient on what the procedure entails. Before now, one of the points highlighted in the marking criteria is women should attend screening every three yearly until they turn 49 and five yearly until 64 and Patients will only get invitation to come for further screening after 65 if any of the results shows abnormality. The latest now is women should attend screening every five yearly until they turn 64 and after 65 they can get invitation only if any of the results earlier done shows abnormality. So what does this mean to you? To make you to recall the point easily. Yeah. Instead of thinking which one should come first, which go it is simple. You've only got two figures now. That is the five years and after 64 years. Okay. That is simple enough, isn't it? Yeah. So a quick recap of what has been talked about in this video. First, PPE is no longer required for subcutaneous injection. It is a good news, and I'm so elated right here regarding that. Yeah, because it's going to save a lot of time, like I said earlier. And the second one is the changes to cervical screening. Yeah, it's no longer going to be women should attend screening three yearly until they turn 49 and five yearly until they turn 64. And after 65 years, they can get invitation to come for further screening if only any of the tests earlier carried out signify abnormalities. The changes to that is women should attend screening every five yearly until they turn 64. And after 65, they can only get invitation to come for further screening if any of the tests earlier carried out indicates abnormalities. It is simple enough, isn't it? I hope you've learned one or two things in this video. Should you require any help regarding your husky preparation, do not hesitate to reach out to us on the contact that is displayed on your screen and we'll do a bit to help you successful in your husky. A shout out to Nurse Ijioma Ikpete and Nurse Bolanle Ali, thank you for being a member of this channel. Do not worry, your pecs await you and it will soon be landing. Yeah. So if you desire to be one of the members of this channel, why not? Yeah. Just click on the join button and you will be part of it. It could be as simple as that. Thank you so much. There are a lot of pecs for channel members, one of which is you will have opportunity to poll to decide on which video you would want to come up next. Also, your comments will be prioritized over others. Yeah, your concern will be addressed over others. Also, exclusive video, yeah, for channel members only. I cannot wait to see you. Yeah.
Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for your constant support. We are very close to getting the channel fully monetized. Thank you for all your constant support. I do appreciate that. It's not going unnoticed. I noticed that and I appreciate it so much. I'm happy the videos are helping you. Thank you so much. See you in my subsequent videos. And until then, do not relent in practicing OSKI. Bye.